Hi guys, it's Matty, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do sky replacement on a photo in After Effects. So, your photo when you start, alright, it should have a really, really vivid background because this uh, background, like the sky, has to be different to the rest of the photo. If you say, if you had like a white sky with clouds and stuff, it would interfere with this and uh, you'd end up replacing this as well. So, this has to be different to your uh, objects. So, say, if you say you had all white sky and nothing in your picture was white, it would work. And then you also need a picture to replace your uh, sky background. So I got this picture off Baker. You go check him out, he's really good. So I'll, I'll be having a link in the description to this photo. And uh, this is the finished product. This is what I'll be teaching you how to do. Okay, so you want to head over into After Effects. You want to import your photo. So find your photo. Alright, and you want to drag this down onto the timeline. And uh, since it's a photo, you don't want it to render as a video, so you want to right click composition, composition settings. Uh, mine's already at 0 point, like the 1, so you want to change this. So it's just got 1, 1 at the end, so it only renders one frame. And just click OK. Alright, um, so now you want to really bring out this colour. So you want to type into effects and presets, hue, H U E, and then click on hue and saturation. You want to change the channel control to blues and then turn up the blue saturation don't turn it up too much though because if you see if I put it on full the quality just it wrecks the photo so just put it on about halfway put it on about 50 and uh, also you want to go to scions and boost up the scion saturation um, obviously you wouldn't want to do this if your background was white you'd want to go in a different channel control alright so now type in the effects and presets key light Double click on that. And on screen colour, what you want to do is you want to click on this dropper and you want to sample the sky. So you can see here it's gone to blue. And uh, to see that it's actually worked, you want to click here on toggle transparency and uh, you can see that it's took out all the sky. And uh, if you see it goes light down here, uh, to get rid of that, you want to change the screen bounce. So you want to change that down a bit. Okay. So now. Yeah, that's looking good. You want to import your other photo to replace the sky. So you want to go to File, Import. You want to get that photo. And you want to drag that down to the timeline. And you see it's really small, right? So what you want to do is you want to scale it up. So it'll fit your photo. And it'll look realistic. So there you go. Alright, so you want to click back onto the other photo you just started with. Uh, go to hue and such. I mean, go to key light. Yeah, click, click on key light, and change the screen balance. If you have like, if you say here, you might have interference around here. It doesn't look realistic. So you want to zoom back out, and you want to change the screen balance so it gets rid of it. So just push that up, and now you can see that it's gone. Yeah. All right. So now you want to go to composition, add to render queue. Uh, you can change the render settings here if you want, but I'll just keep it as this. Uh, output modules, go in format, JPEG sequence, um, click OK, and then output to, I'm going to output mine to the desktop, and just call it test. Alright, and click save, and then click render, and uh, there you go. That should be here. So there you go, that's how to replace the sky on a photo in After Effects. So thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, and uh, my my videos will come up on your homepage. So you can see all of them easily. All right, thanks. Bye.